Is it possible to cure codependency? Hello, this is Chris speaking, Shores of Infinity, with another video about personality disorders, and this is a very important one. Codependency, depression, and anxiety are the three most prevalent psychological disorders of our time. With good reason, because the world is crazy, our culture is crazy. Not humanity inherently, but our culture, the culture we're living now, the culture of taking and destroying, is crazy and is dominated by narcissists and psychopaths. In response, we have these things like depression, anxiety and codependency to deal with it, but those are not very effective ways to deal with it, with the problem of our sick culture. And if you're on a spiritual path, you have to get rid of it. No matter if it's depression, anxiety, or codependency, or two or three of them, you have to get rid of them. Today about codependency. Codependency is also called the helper, the savior syndrome. It usually manifests with not being able to cope well with your own life, but trying to help others all the time. And also attracting narcissists, antisocial, psychopaths, histrionic and borderline disorder people. And getting again and again into situations that are very, very emotionally violent. And then finding excuses why it's uh, not their fault but yours. Also... Usually, people who have codependency disorder are blind to psychopaths and narcissists and borderline and so on. So they, they cannot see them. They cannot recognize them. They cannot see any of their tricks. And they're basically absolutely helpless. That's one reason why you should get rid of it. But... On the spiritual path, it's also you will get stuck. It doesn't matter which personality disorder. Codependency is not a disorder that will create a lot of havoc. It will not hurt people much. It's also manipulative. That's another reason. You're not only being manipulated very easily and very gullible, but you also manipulate others in some way. So not in a very destructive way, but it's still manipulation. Um, but the important thing here is that you cannot go on on your path. You will get stuck in spell dynamics green, yellow, turquoise. One of these three colors and not be able to move on. By the way, I uh, hear a lot of people saying I must be in spell dynamics coral because my life is so horrible. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> no, they Everyone who has a hard time is automatically in Spell Dynamics Coral. Anyone can have a hard time. Okay, back to the thing. Um, Spell Dynamics Coral will be horrible, truly, truly horrible, a hell trip for you, if you ever arrive there, which is unlikely, and still have a codependent, strong codependency. There are different levels of codependency from 0 to 5. 0 is none. 1 and 2 is a little bit, is still manageable, 3 is pronounced, 4 and 5 is very strong, it's flamboyant. And if you have it in the strength of 3, 4 and 5, it will impact your life, impinge on your life in all aspects, especially when it comes to interactions with people, and this is for most people most of the time. It doesn't matter if it's your parents or your friends or your children or your siblings or your uh, business partners, your clients, anyone on the street, whatever. If you have a personality disorder in strength 3, 4 and 5, it will influence all social interactions profoundly. And you don't need this. It will also increase your head cinema, your thought merry-go-round, your internal dialogue. Internal dialogue feeds a lot on 
these disturbances from your personality disorder. And it will go a lot in the direction of shame and guilt, which are the hardest to solve. So back to the question, is it curable? Is it healable? Can you cure codependency disorder? Yes. The short answer is yes. It's definitely possible to minimize it, to get it down to one, from two, three, four or five down to one. That is definitely possible. To get fully rid of it is rare, but possible. I know people who managed it with help. I know someone who has worked on it for many years. He basically did nothing else for three years or so and managed to get it down a little bit. We had a little bit of help, but most of the work he did himself. So you can waste a lot of time trying to do it by yourself, or you can go to a therapist who has experience with personality disorders and has already solved cases like that. Not any therapist will be able to help you. And um, yeah, and then you get it can get it down quickly. I've managed myself and um, in patients and friends to get their codependency disorder down to one and sometimes to zero. So it's possible, definitely possible. It's hard work, but it's possible. But uh, it's definitely preferable to running around with this gullibility disorder that we see nowadays in, in world politics. So many people have it. They just believe, a lot of people just believe whatever they're being told. Especially by narcissists and psychopaths and antisocial and so on. And uh, a lot of politicians are narcissists and psychopaths and antisocial and borderline and so on. That's why they fought their way up or bootlicked their way up the hierarchy of the political parties. No one else can stand that. It really doesn't matter which party you vote for, especially the larger dominant parties, they will be chock full of narcissists. And they will never keep their promises. It's all manipulation. But if you have a codependency personality disorder, you cannot see the, per, uh, the manipulation. That's part of your disorder. And to the contrary, you're very open to it. And you also cannot see psychopaths co-opting uh, good movements like feminism, the green movement, save the environment, save the animals, save the rainforest, Black Lives Matter and whatnot, Fridays for Future. All these um, movements have been co-opted, have been hijacked by psychopaths. They were good in the beginning, but now they're warped into something else because they're full of codependency disorder people and that means victims. You're running around with a big sign on your head, victim, if you have a codependency personality disorder. And no one likes victims better than psychopaths and narcissists. They're drawn to the victims like moths to the light. And you only need one. That's enough to pervert a very good movement or group. So if you don't want to run around like an idiot, believing everything you're being told, being manipulated left and right and front and center, get rid of your codependency personality disorder. You might have one. Because a lot of spiritual seekers have it. A lot. It's Anyway, in, in normal society, it's probably 20 or 30 percent. The guesstimates vary. Some are even higher. In the spiritual marketplace world 
of spiritual seekers, it's at least 50%. So you have a 50% chance that you have codependency, personality disorder to some degree. One, two, three, four, or five. And if you're honest to yourself, you will notice that uh, this has impacted your life. You Again and again, you're pulled into situations with crazy people. And this is your codependency personality disorder and it can lead to all kinds of other problems like burnout, for example. But we are concerned, of course, uh, with the spiritual path and here it's mainly, as I've said many times, there is no spiritual progress with your internal dialogue still intact. You have to shut it off. If you still have unbidden voices in your head, if your head is still talking to itself without you having ordered it to do so, just by itself, blah, 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 blah. This is called the internal dialogue and there can be no progress if you can't switch it off. And personality disorders and any other kind of uh, psychological disorder like anxiety and depression and whatnot will fuel it, will fuel, fuel it like putting kerosene on the fire. So to turn off your internal dialogue, if you haven't managed yet, it might be a possibility that you're suffering from codependency and then you have to stop the codependency first and then turning off the internal dialogue will be much, much easier and quicker. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you for listening, watching, subscribing and joining me on Patreon. Thanks for all those who have already joined me on Patreon. Thank you very much and see you soon. Or not so soon. There will be less videos. Why will there be less videos and have there been less videos? Because not everything can be told. A lot of things have to be demonstrated. It's not enough to talk about it. That's why people like Meher Baba stop talking. Talking is overrated and peop most people listen with their mind. That's not who am I, who uh, I'm talking to. I'm not talking to your mind. I'm not talking to your ego. I'm talking to deeper layers and hopefully these deeper layers will hear what I say and act accordingly. Your mind will always misunderstand what I am saying or what any other um, spiritual inclined influencer is saying. Your mind will just take any information and put it in old categories and probably put it upside down and understand the complete opposite. That's why I'm very careful to say things, but I thought this is an important topic here. Okay, ciao.